Understanding Liquidity Analysis and Debt Maturity Schedules Corporations, governments, and municipalities often engage in borrowing activities to raise money that they use to invest in growth and development or to fund operations. Chances are that debt securities such as banknotes, bonds, and debentures are used to raise the operating cash necessary for the long term and revolvers or commercial paper programs for the short term to support the borrower's funding requirements. The borrower or issuer of the debt makes a legal promise to pay a specified rate of interest or an implied rate of return in the case of zero coupon bonds during the life of the debt and to repay the face value or the principal when it comes due for payment. The date the liability or debt becomes due for payment is known as the debt maturity date. Let's take a look at XYZ Company. The debt maturity profile tells us over what period debt is due to be repaid or refinanced based on the interest rate environment and it enables a borrower to properly manage its liquidity flows and set aside enough cash to repay loans when they become due. Liquidity ratios derived from the balance sheet enable us to identify the borrower's ability to meet both its short-term and long-term obligations. The current ratio is one measure used to test a company's financial strength. This ratio is obtained by dividing the total current assets of a company by its total current liabilities. In our example, XYZ Company has $6.3 billion in current assets and $6.9 billion in current liabilities. The current ratio would be 0.9. While current ratios vary by industry, generally speaking as the number approaches or falls below 1, which means the company has a negative working capital, as in this example, you will need to take a closer look at the company and make sure that there are no short-term liquidity issues limiting its ability to pay $3.5 billion worth of debt over the next two years. To summarize, understanding and analyzing the debt maturity structure offers insight into the potential impact that loan expirations, credit openings such as low interest rates, and lenient lender requirements has on borrowers. It provides greater insight into whether or not a borrower is properly managing its liquidity flows and setting aside enough cash to repay loans when they become due.